I'm Dr. Caroline Novak, and I'm a vein expert at the Vein Treatment Clinic, an affiliate of the VIP Medical Group. Vein disease is an incredibly common problem, affecting more than one-third of American adults, but many people don't know when it's time to see a vein doctor. How can you tell if your vein problems are more than cosmetic? Spider veins and varicose veins are two of the most common signs of vein disease. Spider veins are small red or blue veins that spread outward on the surface of the skin. They can be mild in appearance, thin and wispy, or they can be more prominent and bulge slightly. Varicose veins are larger veins that often bulge from the surface of the skin. Varicose veins have a twisted or torturous path and can lead to serious complications such as skin changes and venous ulcers or non-human wounds that can appear on the surface of the skin. Both types of veins often form as a result of underlying dysfunction in veins slightly deeper within the leg, a condition called venous insufficiency. I think the spider veins and varicose veins are like stains on the surface of a wall, and the underlying vein disease is like a leaky pipe inside of that wall. So how can you tell if your vein problems are only cosmetic? How can you tell if you just need to repaint the wall or if there's a leaky pipe that needs to be fixed? The first way to distinguish between cosmetic and medical disease is to pay attention to your legs. The symptoms of vein disease are subtle, meaning many people mistake them for normal aging. A dull heaviness or achy sensation at the end of the day is common. You may notice cramps in your calves at night. Elevating the legs and wearing fitted hose, known as compression stockings, can lead to partial or complete relief of your vein-related symptoms. If you have noticed your legs feel uncomfortable, restless, or heavier and more fatigued than they used to, and you notice new veins appearing, you should be evaluated for vein disease. In general, a significant amount of spider and varicose veins is a good reason to see a vein doctor. Often, I hear patients tell me they received cosmetic treatment, such as laser treatment or sclerotherapy, multiple times without receiving an ultrasound to evaluate for venous insufficiency. This is like repainting a wall over and over again without fixing the leaky pipe. The stains inevitably return. To me, this is a waste of time and money, not to mention the fact that the symptoms due to vein disease won't get any better at all with treatment that's purely cosmetic. I hope this explains how to tell if your vein problems are more than cosmetic. Pay close attention to the way your legs feel and consider a visit with an experienced vein doctor who can evaluate you for underlying vein disease. You can also learn more on our website, www.veintreatmentclinic.com. I'm Dr. Caroline Novak, and I hope you have a wonderful day.